Welcome to the second part of the how to design a book cover that sells video series. As a self-publishing author or low content book publisher on Amazon, if you want to learn how to make better book cover designs by yourself or you have no option other than to design your book covers on your own, this video is for you. Because in this video, I'm going to talk about how to create a better book cover layout. After watching this video, whether you use online graphic design tools like Canva or professional design tools like Adobe Illustrator to design your book covers, you will be able to create book cover layouts that increase visual interest by placing your design elements where they belong best. In addition to the ones who have to design on their own, if you are one of the emerging authors, or low content book publishers who hire designers starting from $5 on marketplaces like Fiverr, this video will also help you to guide your designers. In the first part, I tried to explain how to use different focal point creation techniques to grab the initial attention of your customers. And I also analyzed the focal points of some of the Amazon bestsellers book covers in that video. So if you haven't watched it yet so far, I strongly recommend you watch it first for a better understanding of this video. If you don't know where to start, designing a book cover from scratch is hard, even for a simple low content book like a line notebook. Because when you search on Amazon, there are tens of thousands of books with similar book cover designs. Therefore, the design elements placed on your book cover and their layout matter to grab the initial attention of customers. What if you knew a guideline for placing your design title text and graphic elements where they look best? It would be great, right? So the rule of thirds is the subject of this tutorial. You can use this method for this purpose. I am sure you will not ignore this after watching this video and recheck all your previously published book covers. What is the rule of thirds and why is it important? The rule of thirds was first written down by John Thomas Smith in 1797 in his book Remarks on Rural Scenery. It is a composition guideline for visual images such as designs, films, paintings, and photographs. And of course, it's commonly used in professional publishing for book covers as well. To apply the rule of thirds to your design, you should make a grid first by dividing the design area into thirds, using two horizontal and two vertical lines. When you do this, you get nine segments with four intersection points. These intersection points are the focal points. You can place most critical elements fall on the lines or where the lines intersect to have a much more visually captivating design. Maybe you are not aware, but you see many designs with rule of thirds guidelines in your daily life. For example, let me show you some examples of the usage of the rule of thirds in photography. As you see in these examples, the most important elements fall on the lines of the grid. Most camera apps include this option to turn on the grid. Take a closer look at this one. As you see in this photo, the horizon is placed along the top horizontal line, so the sky fills one third of the photo. The dog also appears close to the intersection points on the right. Now let's check the rule of thirds examples in cinema. Ok, you see here some movie scenes that use the rule effectively. You also frequently see the rule of thirds in web designs. Here are some examples. For example, check where the title and call to action buttons are placed. Ok, now let's check the rule of thirds examples in book cover designs. To do this, firstly we have to prepare our grid. 
Since the most common trim size for books in the US is 6 by 9 inches, I will make the grid for this trim size to show you. You can find all the book cover formatting information on the KDP Help Center page. Click Format your paperback on the left side menu. Then click the link in the Download a Cover Template section under the Format your cover file menu. I will prepare it for a paperback. So I am choosing paperback for the binding type. And I prefer black and white as an interior type and white paper as a paper type. Page turn direction is left to right. Measurement units are inches. And the trim size is 6 by 9 inches. Let's make it 100 pages. Calculate dimensions. OK, now we have all the details for the cover size here. As you see, the safe area is 5.875 by 8.75 inches. As we are working on the cover, the dimensions of the safe area are not related to the number of pages. I mean, even if you change the page count here to 200, the dimensions of the safe area would remain the same as 5.875 by 8.75. But remember that the page count changes the dimensions of the safe area for the interior pages as the gutter margin increase with the page count. I will download the template now and open it in Adobe Illustrator to prepare the grid. OK, here we have a PDF file and PNG file. I prefer to work on the PDF file to make the grid in Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator is a vector-based graphics software and you can create professionally designed book covers and interiors for no-content and low-content books in it. If you don't have Adobe Illustrator, I am going to leave you a link down below in the description to get a 7-day free trial. Now, I will show you quickly how to make a rule of thirds grid for this trim size in Adobe Illustrator. If you are not familiar with Adobe Illustrator, don't worry, I know most of you use Canva for book cover designs. Therefore, I will save the file in PNG format and share it with you. I will also show you how to use it in Canva in this video. Firstly, I will change the document color mode to CMYK color. Then, I will change the units to inches to calculate the grid sizes easily. For the moment, we have only one layer. Let's name this layer Cover Template. Then, create a new layer and name it 6x9 Grid. After that, we will draw a grid on the white area of the front cover. And the size of this grid must be the same as this white area here. You can manually calculate the width of this white area with the help of X and Y coordinates here. If you click the white area, you see here the height of it is 8.75 inches. And to calculate the width, we will use the X coordinates. To do it, be sure that your reference point is on the right side. So, the X coordinate of the edge of the white area is 12.2252 inches. Then, if you click the edge of the book spine here, the X coordinate of it is 6.4752 inches. If you subtract 6.4752 from 12.2252, you will find the width of the white area. It is 5.75 inches. As we know the size of our grid, which is 5.75 by 8.75 inches, now we need to draw a rectangle and divide this rectangle into thirds, using two horizontal and two vertical lines. 
We can calculate the position of these lines manually, but fortunately, Adobe Illustrator has a tool called Rectangular Grid Tool for this purpose. Click once on the canvas, and it's going to allow us to adjust the Rectangular Grid Tool options. So we can define the width and height of our grid. The horizontal dividers and vertical dividers are here. The width of our grid is 5.75 and the height of our grid is 8.75 inches. And we need two horizontal and two vertical dividers for our grid. Click OK. Our rule of thirds grid is ready now. Let's make the borders black to make them more visible. OK. If you move it to the edge of the white area, as you see, it looks perfect. Now, I will make the first layer invisible. Depending on your background color, you can change the color of the borders if black is not visible. For the moment, black is fine, so I keep it as it is. And I will save it now in PNG format to make it usable for tools like Canva. Click File, Export, Export as, and choose PNG for the file format. Then Export. Keep the background color transparent. OK. Now our grid is ready in PNG format. By the way, as I said, I will share this file with you. I think most of you use Creative Fabrica. Therefore, I will put this file for free download on Creative Fabrica website. You can find the free download link for Rule of Thirds 6x9 grid in PNG format with two different border colors, black and light gray, below in the description. Furthermore, as I frequently use Rule of Thirds grids in my book cover designs, I already prepared them for other most common trim sizes which I use in my low content book covers. These are 8.5 by 11, 8.5 by 8.5, 8.27 by 11.69, and 8.25 by 11. After free downloading the 6x9 grid, if you think it is useful for you, you can download this pack from my store in Creative Fabrica. Now, let's look at some book cover examples designed by using the rule of thirds. I will show you now how to use the rule of thirds grid file in Canva. As I use only Adobe Illustrator for my book covers and interiors, I have to say that I have never used Canva before this video. Therefore, I am not an expert on it. I just watched some tutorials to show you. Ok, when you open Canva, click Create a Design. Then click Custom Size. If you check the 6x9 cover template file, the width is 12.475 inches and the height is 9.25 inches. Create a new design. Then, click Upload on the left menu. I already uploaded the 6x9 cover template here. Let's drag this file and place it here. Michelle Obama's book was one of the best sellers on Amazon in the last weeks. And the size of this book is 6x9 inches. To show you, I choose this one as it is suitable for our grid size. I already downloaded the cover of the book. So, let's place it on the front cover area on our cover template. Then, upload and put the rule of thirds grid on it. OK. If you remember, as I told you at the beginning of the video, there were four intersection points on the grid. And these intersection points were the focal points. Now, look where the face of Michelle Obama is placed on the cover. As you see, it is placed perfectly on one of the intersection points. If you watch the first part of this video series, 
using images of eyes and faces on the book covers is one of the techniques to create a strong focal point. Because images of eyes and faces are much more likely to grab our attention than anything. And wanting to make eye contact with other people is in our nature. So, besides using the face of a well known person here, the book cover designer created a very strong focal point by placing her face on one of the intersection points. And as you can imagine, it was not a coincidence. So, I advise you to do the same. Like I just did, when you design your book covers in Canva, you can put this rule of thirds grid on your designs to check if the placement of your design elements is okay before publishing your books. Now I want to show you another example. It is the cover of Atomic Habits. The dimensions of it are also 6 by 9 inches. If you remember, I also showed this book as an example in the first part of this video series. And I said in that video that the focal point was the title text for this book. Now, check where the title text is placed on the cover. As you see, it falls in the middle. If you place text elements within the rows, you get a more structured, clean, and eye pleasing look for your cover designs. And if you place the text over the lines, or intersection points, you get more emphasized and strong focal points. Now, I want to show you more examples of rule of thirds usage in different Amazon bestseller book covers. The dimensions of the books that I will show you are different. I mean, all of them are not 6 by 9 inches. Therefore, I will continue with Adobe Illustrator because I think it's easier to adapt the grid in different sizes in Illustrator. However, as I told you, if you want to download the grids for the most common trim sizes, you can find them in my Creative Fabrica store. Let's look closer to the cover of Baking Yesteryear, the book by Dylan Hollis. He is a famous TikTok creator with a secondary YouTube channel. If you place the rule of thirds grid on his book cover, you see that the title text is placed in top thirds. And the other important design elements like the baking objects are placed in the bottom third. His face is exactly in the middle and the structure is clean and eye pleasing. I also want to show the A plus content of his book. If you check the last photo carefully, I think your eyes can recognize the rule of thirds here now. Let me show it to you in Adobe Illustrator. If I put the rule of thirds grid on this photo, you can see that the body of him is placed exactly on the intersection points on the right. Let me change the border colors to make it more visible for you. Do you think it was a coincidence? No, of course it was not. Okay, I know some of you are working on children's books, so I want to show you another example. The cover of Lama Lama Red Pyjama. It is one of the best sellers of children's mammal books. If I put the rule of third grid on its cover, you can see that the llama is placed on the intersection points on the right, and the text red is placed on one of the intersection points on the left, and runs right through a divisional line. As I said before, if you place the text over the lines or intersection points, you can get more emphasized and strong focal points. So the designer applied the rule of thirds on this book cover very well. Ok, let me show you one more example. It is one of the Amazon bestsellers nowadays. The cover of Things We Hide From The Light. I will put the grid on the cover to show you. 
and I will make the border color of the grid black again to make it more visible. Being the largest object and having the greatest contrast here, make the title text the focal point. And if you look at the rule of thirds grid, the title text is divided into thirds and placed within the rows, so it looks very structured and clean. Okay, I tried to show you the rule of thirds to create a better book cover layout in this video. If I make a summary for the video, after drawing a rule of thirds grid, you get 9 segments with 4 intersection points. And these intersection points are the focal points. If you place most critical elements fall on the lines or where the lines intersect, you can have a much more visually captivating design. Now it is your turn. Try to practice this layout on one of your existing book covers and let me know in the comment section if it looks better when you apply the rule of thirds or not. By the way, the rule of thirds is not the only layout for book cover designing. So, if you wonder about the other layouts and techniques to create book cover designs that sell, make sure to subscribe and like the video to support the channel. I hope it was worth watching and it will help you design your book covers more professionally. I will try to publish the third part of this series soon. See you soon in the next video.